Hey, this is Mark Lampkin. Uh, we're here at, in Oakland, which is being occupied today. I'm out here with Art Chen. He's with Asian Health Services. Art, how you doing? Fine, fine. Thanks. So, Art, tell me a little bit about why you're out here in support of Occupy Oakland today. Well, number one, I, I support Occupy Oakland and the movement that is spurred by our young people and appreciate you know, their dedication to the ideals of America and uh, freedom and equality. Uh, and their recognition that the widening gap between the rich and poor has just gone too far at this point. And we have a deficit that has been driven by the conservative government. And as a result of that, we, we have cutbacks in all of the important services that really define the moral character of a country. So we have declining health care, we have declines in child care, we have declines in adult day health for elderly, we have declines in, in cutbacks in Medicare. Uh, health insurance for the elderly, we have foreclosures in housing, and we have unemployment. And all of this is, is really outrageous and appalling for a society as rich as ours and with the moral character that we have. And so I'm happy to participate in supporting the change uh, and recognition of that. In health care, specifically I've been a family physician for the last 30 years, and we don't have but we have 50 million uninsured people in this country. That's scary. Uh, 50 million people who could get sick today, not get adequate care. If they have a home, they could lose their home behind the, uh, the, the fees they would have to pay for that. That's in the, right. In the wealthiest country in the history of the world. That's right. And we are the only wealthy developed country that doesn't have a national health program to cover all the people. We have national health insurance for elderly and national health insurance for the poor, and we need to expand that so that we'll have national health insurance to cover everyone, even between ages 21 and 64. And uh, so we have Medicare for the elderly over age 64, and, and expanding that would cover the entire country. It's affordable. It would save us over $400 billion a year in unnecessary overhead costs that really currently go to shareholders and also the uh, overhead of, uh, uh, of commercial insurance companies. And we need to figure out how to advance, which we have, I, I like to speak positively about Obama health care reform, how to continually advance prevention and public health, you know, which are both looking at our entire population and how we address the needs of everyone in society, no matter what class you're in or income bracket or housing. Thank you, Art.